The weather changes every day. Some days it's sunny. Some days it's raining. Sometimes, the weather even changes greatly in the same day. The point is, the weather is never constant. It will eventually become something else. So here's the question, what causes the weather conditions to change? In order to understand what causes the weather to change, you first must know what makes up the weather. Weather conditions are a result of air masses. An air mass is a large body of air that forms over water or land in either tropical or polar regions. If the air mass forms over tropical regions, it will be warm. If the air mass forms over polar regions, it will be cold. Temperature and humidity conditions inside the air mass will determine the resulting weather conditions when air masses move. For example, a humid but cold air mass will likely bring snow during the winter. A cold but dry air mass will likely bring clear skies. Meanwhile a warm and humid air mass could bring rain, but a warm and dry air mass could lead to drought. It's important to know that air masses are always moving. As these air masses move and collide with each other, fronts form at the boundaries between the air masses. A front is simply, the point where two different air masses meet. Depending upon the air masses involved, a warm front, cold front, stationary front, or occluded front can develop. The first type of front is the warm front. These form when a warm air mass collides and rides over a cold air mass. The resulting warm front may produce long periods of precipitation and warmer temperatures. The second type of front is the cold front. These form when a cold air mass collides and slides under a warm air mass. The resulting cold front may produce thunderstorms and sometimes tornadoes and cooler temperatures. Next, we have the stationary front. These form when a cold front and a warm front get into a standoff and neither wants to move. Stationary fronts may produce long periods of precipitation. Finally, we have the occluded front. When a cold air mass pushes into a warm air mass that is behind a cool air mass, the warm air mass is pushed up above the cooler air masses. The resulting occluded front may produce long periods of precipitation. You can think as occluded fronts as a sandwich. The warm front is the meat and cheese, and the cold fronts are the bread. Air temperature isn't the only thing that affects the conditions of the weather. Air pressure will have a great impact on weather conditions. There are two types of pressure systems. High pressure and low pressure. High pressure systems usually signal more fair weather with winds circulating around the system in a clockwise direction. Low pressure systems with counterclockwise circulating winds often result in rainy and or stormy weather conditions. The characteristics of pressure systems can be seen on this weather map clearly. The high pressure systems are represented by a blue H. The low pressure systems are represented by a red L. The weather is clear in the zones near the blue H. However, there is precipitation and stormy weather conditions in the regions with the red L. Speaking of stormy weather, severe weather conditions called storms occur when pressure differences cause rapid air movement. Conditions that bring one kind of storm can also cause other kinds of storms in the same area. For example, the same conditions that make a snowstorm in the winter can make a thunderstorm in the summer. A thunderstorm is a storm with thunder, lightning, heavy rains and strong winds. These form within large cumulonimbus clouds and usually form along a cold front but can form within an air mass. A tornado is a rapidly whirling, funnel-shaped cloud that extends down from a storm cloud. Tornadoes have very low air pressure and strong winds. These can cause great damage to people and property. Tornadoes are likely to form within the frontal regions where strong thunderstorms are also present. Lastly, the biggest storms on the planet are called hurricanes. A hurricane is a low-pressure tropical storm that forms over warm ocean water. The winds form a spinning circular pattern around the center or eye of the storm. 
As with all storms, the lower the air pressure at the center, the faster the winds blow toward the center of the storm. This means a Category 5 will have lower pressure than a Category 1. Hurricanes are also capable of spinning up tornadoes. Now it's time to spin the lesson into a quick review. Stick around till the end for all vocabulary words and their definitions. Weather conditions are the result of air masses. The characteristics of the air mass determine the weather conditions for the area. When air masses move and collide, they form fronts. Fronts are the boundaries between air masses. There are four types of fronts. Cold fronts. Warm fronts. Stationary fronts, which is when the cold and warm fronts meet and don't move. And the fourth type of front is called an oculated front, which is when a warm front is sandwiched by cold fronts. Pressure systems are very vital to controlling weather conditions. High pressure signals fair weather and clear skies. Low pressure signals stormy weather. Storms have three forms, thunderstorms, tornadoes, and hurricanes. Each of these are caused by low pressure systems. Now that you've watched the video, I hope you'll be able to better understand how the weather around you works. It's a complicated process, but if you apply the information you learned here, with information from our previous video on how to predict the weather, you'll be able to impress your friends by predicting the weather, just by simply looking up at the sky. So take your time and re-watch the video if you have to. The more you learn, the better you'll be. Who knows, maybe you'll have a career on TV. If you learned anything from this video or felt like it was educational, don't forget to leave us some love. We put a lot of work into it, and all support is greatly appreciated. Thanks.